Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can draw this piece in Autodesk Fusion 360. First of all, we will begin with this circle. So we have here a circle with a diameter of 38 units. So let's get started. We'll start through a new sketch and we'll select today this plan. Create a circle, 38 and press enter. Double click on the mouse wheel and now we will press finish sketch. Now let's have a look. We have here a thickness of 25 units. So we'll go to the extrude command, we will drag this little arrow and we will write 25 units and press enter. Double click again on the mouse wheel. On the next step, we need to focus on this shape. So in particular, we need to build this object. So keep it in mind just the shape. In order to do that, we will go through a new sketch and we will zoom out and we will select this plan which is located over here. Go to the front plane, go through a line let's say from here now we'll go like this we'll go down and before clicking it here in this point hold the left click again and go down right now and close this and now let's add some constraints so the first one it will be this tangent also in the other side as well Coincident now between this line and this point to be exactly here. Sketch dimension, you can press here or you can write D letter. We'll have two. This circle right here, it will be of 25 as well. So this radius will be 25 and the other one, it will be concentric with the other radius. So sketch dimension is still active, 25. Concentric with the other one. When it comes to this dimension, we have here 75 and here we have 45, but the thickness of these two layers, it will be for both of them 10. So 45 minus 20, that means 25. So 75 minus 25, it will mean that it is 50. So between this point and this edge, it will be 50 units. So sketch dimension again. 50 and here we'll have 10 and to be sure here you see we have 10 as well this is why it is in the brackets because it is not necessary and when it comes to the other dimension we have 101 but this thickness it is 10 so until this edge and the center we have 91 sketch dimension it is still active And now we can press finish sketch. Let's go to the home plan for a clear vision and we need to extrude it symmetric in both sides with 10 units. So go to the extrude, select here not one side, select symmetric, whole length and we can write 10 units. But be sure that the operation will be joined and press OK. More or less the same thing will apply in the other direction. Let's have a look. So here we'll construct almost the same thing, but we'll add other heights. And also the thickness here, it will be 10. So create a new sketch also from the same plan. Start through a line, so press the L letter. And before clicking it, hold the left click. To create this arch, go down. And let's create another line here from this point to the other to close the boundary. Press escape key. Now let's go to the tangent again. Go to the collinear. Equal. Coincident. Collinear again. Concentric. Coincident. And let's have a look to be sure. So go to the sketch dimension and here it is correct. 10 and also must be the same. Yes, it is. Finish the sketch, go to the home button and let's have a look. Here we'll have an extrusion with 
38 units because it is the whole diameter of this circle. So let's go back, extrude, go here. Instead of one side, we'll go again to the symmetric whole length. And the whole length, in our case, it will be 38. But be sure that we will not have here cut, and instead of it, we will have here join. And press OK. Now let's switch the drawing and let's select this face. Right click, create sketch. So we'll create another sketch with this rectangle. So we have here a rectangle of 45 and we'll not apply 50, we will apply, let's say, 69 because otherwise this radius it will be too small to apply. And just keep it in mind, 45 and 69. So we can click here or we can write air letter. We can start from this point. First dimension 45 tab 69 units. Inside of it, we need to create another circle. So a circle with the diameter of 16 units, as it can be seen here, and it will be located on 18 and 22 units. So circle again from this point. 16 sketch dimension or press d here we have 18 and in the other side as well we have 22 finish the sketch and let's add a thickness of 10 so select this part and also the surface the original one and we'll write 10 here we need to apply two radiuses so a radius of 30 and a radius of 25 let me show you so go to the fillet now, select just this tiny edge and write 25. The same thing, we'll do it here. So fillet, the surface, you can drag it to see, which is more visible, and we'll write 30. And for the final step, we will make here a hole. So click at this surface, right click, create sketch, create a circle, 16. Finish the sketch. Extrude, select the surface, and here you can also drag in the opposite side and it will be automatically cut. And another reason it is this red color. You can press just OK or Enter. And for the final step, let's add a little bit of color. So select the entire drawing, right click, appearance, and let's write, for example, yellow. Select the color and drag it. And here it is. Our drawing now, it is complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.